All right, man. So look, we came across another crazy video. I ain't gonna lie, the title caught my attention like crazy. Okay, is it okay to be white? <laughs> now, this I don't even know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. This I don't think this is my first time watching this girl channel, but I feel like it is. I've seen her plenty of times. I just don't know if this is my first time reacting to her channel. But before we get to the video, man, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Now, y'all know I want to interact with y'all. So I need y'all to go in the comment section below and comment down below if you had only one drink to drink for the rest of your life. You just have one drink. That's it. Just one drink. What would it be? What would it be? You, you can't drink nothing else but this one thing. Me personally, I ain't going to lie. I'll take some sweet tea with heavy sugar. Heavy sugar on a sweet tea. Can't go wrong with that, man. But anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. And also, I got a podcast in the link description box below. You're going to want to check it out. I promise you. Even if you don't watch podcasts, this one right here, go get you on your toes. Like, I promise you, it, it's lit. The podcast lit. But let's go ahead and get to the video, man. No talking. Let's get it. Let's go. This is Savannah Hernandez for Action 7 News. Now I'm here today for a breaking investigative report about this sign. It's okay to be white. Now these have been popping up all over universities around America. So I'm here today to ask students and people alike if they think this is hate speech, if this should be banned, and what they think about the actual phrase. Let's go find out. This poster has been put up around universities all over America. It's okay to be white. What do y'all think about that? I mean, we have a lot of privileges as, as white individuals, so like, like, be proud, do your own thing, but I don't think like posting that is necessary. I'm not sure. It's I would probably resent that group or like the people that were putting it up, uh, just because I don't think it's necessary, you know. And it seems a little extravagant. I'm not gonna lie, just that being put up around universities. Me personally, look, be happy and be glad for the skin that you are in okay if you're white black hispanic chinese bro nobody i don't care okay nobody should care based off another person's skin tone you feel me it's okay to be whatever color you are because guess what at the end of the day you didn't ask to be white you didn't ask to be black i didn't ask to be black but you know what happened two black people came together doop, 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 and boom I ended up popping out nine months later. So, same thing that happened with y'all. So, I mean, I, like, I didn't ask to be this color. But, I mean, by DNA and by the things that happen to be cut, to make babies and all that, like, that's why I came out just like this. Okay, and I'm going to be happy and be proud that I'm black. All right? I don't care what, I don't care if people feel like all the odds are against black people. Like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay? It is, it's white people out here that go through worse than a black person. Trust and believe. You don't know nobody's story. And you don't know everybody's story. Okay? Trust and believe me. And there's a lot of black people that go through worse things than white people. But it's, it's just, a, I'm just saying, like, be happy for whatever skin you are in. Don't worry about nobody else's skin tone. Just be happy. All right? Um, I agree with you, although I feel that if that's, like, if that's their pride, then I think it's fine for them to do that, just like everyone else. What do you guys think about it? How would you feel if you saw it popping up at UT? I mean, obviously it's not good. How come? Because that's pretty right. I mean, it's pretty racist, I guess. It just makes me feel weird. Yeah, it does make me feel like, kind of weird. You don't got to point it out. It's okay to be white. It's okay to be white. Say. I'm not sure how I would feel. I guess... The sentiment is in the right place, but I don't think it's necessary to put up posters like that. Uh, no I feel like it's a given in any society that it is okay to be white and there's no like repercussions to being white um, or like any additional uh, difficulties that they have to face. I'd be disappointed. How come? Uh, because it's, uh, I don't know, it infers that white people are oppressed in some way, and we are not. There's white supremacists everywhere, and a white supremacist would be the only kind of person who would put that up. I mean, it's okay to be white. I got nothing. Just random gunshots? Against it, I mean, anyone can do like whatever they want. It's cool. Uh, I'm Mexican, and people sometimes don't believe I'm Mexican because I'm a white. So I think it's okay to be white. Well, it's okay to be white, it's okay to be black, it's okay to be any color. Exactly. I think that would be fine. 
I mean, uh, why wouldn't it be? I'm okay with it too. I think it's fine. I think it's okay to be black, white, yellow, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So the universities these were posted up at, this was being investigated as hate speech. What do you guys think about that? Oh my God. I think I understand why, but I don't agree how with is, it being. How is that hate speech? Man, people say just anything. Like I'm not, I, I know she's not saying that, but I'm just saying like, she's saying it's been posted and people are viewing it as this. How are you viewing, is it okay to be white as hate speech? classified as hate speech I think that anyone should be able to be proud of who they are even if they're white I mean it's it's not hate speech because when we consider hate speech we consider a minority and definitely it's okay to be black and it's okay to be white and it's just a blank statement it shouldn't be considered as something discriminative or hate speech um, I'm not sure if it goes so far as to be qualified for hate speech but um, I think it's borderline you know yeah, I agree with that. I don't know if I would go as far as to classify it as hate speech, but I do think that it seems to be taking away from other movements that are going on at university campuses um, and taking away from the experiences of people who actually face difficulties in their everyday life due to their race. Um, white students don't usually feel that white students don't usually face uh, difficulties every day. Um. How can how can you say how can you say something like that about another race that you are not? You don't know, like, this is the problem with people. They go off the things that they see on the internet, okay? So they feel as if white people don't face difficulties in their everyday to day life. When there's plenty of white people out there struggling just as a black person struggling. Plenty of black people out there struggling just as a Mexican or whoever struggling. I'm just saying it's every race having struggles. Every race faces difficulties. You know what's the biggest difficulty that every race face? Being in America. That's the... Biggest difficulty that every, and I don't say that just to say, oh, I'm not a proud American. No, I say that because of the way that government is, the way that a uh, freaking president is. Like, that's, that's the why I'm saying it. Like, it's just, we face difficulties every day. Even if it, even if it's not physical difficulties, emotionally difficulties, you know, that, that's a big one. Uh, what else? Um, spiritual spiritually uh spiritual difficulties you face difficulties in every day of your life you can't say that white people don't really face every uh, uh difficulties in their everyday life when you not even that race yourself i can't say that why because i'm not white i'm black and i know the difficulties that i may face but i don't know difficulties that other black people may face so i can't even say that every black person face difficulties in their everyday of their life and that's the problem with 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 the media and everything. They done picture. They done put this little this little thing in everybody in in people's heads to think that black people are poor and think that black people suffer this and suffer that and suffer this. You know why black people suffer? Because of the consequences. Uh, I mean, wait, no, because of the actions that we do. Which guess what? Every action has a consequence behind it. So that is why we suffer from a lot of different things. That's why we suffer from. Well, I guess people say police brutality. Look at what them black people be doing sometimes. Look at what they be doing. And, and, and you see why they got themselves in their predicament. And then on top of that, the media don't even show the real. They don't show... What the freak? My bad, y'all. I thought, I thought my nose bleed out. <laughs> but the media don't even show the real. They don't even they don't even show uh, the, the full story of a black person, uh, you know, being... Being in a um, altercation with a police officer, they don't even show the full thing. They just show the one clip that the uh, officer did this to that. Officer did that, that. Like they just show that one clip. Come on, man. Um, based on their race or their class, so I, I don't think that they're. Yeah, like I don't think it's necessary to put those posters up. Well, I could see where some would think that, but I mean, I I don't see it that way. Do you think that if people are posting this sign or saying this phrase around campus, they should be punished for that? Yes. Well, I, uh, I believe in the First Amendment, so like, if it's yeah, not like not, hate speech... But, I understand, but they're also like, it's vandalism. Well, yeah, I'm saying that, I agree so. with that, but if, if like someone just happened to say like, yeah, it's okay to be white, I don't think that would be like hate speech, unless they were directing it towards a group of people that weren't white just to like get some kind of rise out of them yeah that's a good shit i'm not sure i feel about it being hate speech but i just think it's incredibly unnecessary like we 
like as a as a white straight male, I know the I know the advantages that I have in society that I'm not, I'm not persecuted for my skin color, my orientation, or my gender, and so therefore I don't think it's I don't think you need to rub it in anybody's face to say that it's okay to be white. We know it's okay to be white. Hate speech in what context? It was just posted up on polls and people said it was hate speech. I feel like if the last word is okay to be black. It's the same meaning. It's okay to be black. It's okay to be white. We all have to learn how to love each other. So it's okay. Exactly. It's okay to be anybody you want to be. Do you think it would be investigated as heavily if the sign said, it's okay to be brown or it's okay to be black? No. I don't how, think so. How come? I don't think so. Because there's already like a lot of movements like Black Lives Matter is one of those movements that... And, is, and that's not cool, though. That's, that's not cool. I don't like the fact that my skin tone, people don't really... Like, people... People starting. Like, I don't like the fact that black people get a lot of sympathy from white people, or just in general. I feel like we don't deserve sympathy. Why we don't deserve sympathy? Because, bro, we're the same. We're the same. We all bleed the same. Literally, we we all bleed the same. So it's just like, why do I deserve sympathy? Like, if I if, if if they put a sign up that say it's okay to be black, and nobody's going to talk about it, people are going to promote that and say yes, finally they're recognizing. Like it's just like, why though? Why? But if a sign says it's okay to be white, that's a big problem. And you know why it's a big problem and things like that is because people, they go all the way back to slavery. They go all the way back. My ancestor did this. My ancestor did that. Girl, you don't even know your ancestor. I don't either. I, I'm not trying to be rude to the ancestor, but I, I just don't know them. You feel me? I don't know them. Oh, I just love my ancestor. I just love. How you can you love somebody that you never truly met? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you love somebody that you never met? So that's why I just I, I just don't feel like I feel like that's wrong for the fact that we can put up a sign and say it's okay to be black, but then once they say it's okay to be white, it's a problem. Put up a sign and say it's okay to be black, that's not a problem at all. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all, bro. And I just don't like that, bro. I truly just don't like that. It's uh accepted by a lot of people that I think people would just be like, yeah, it is. Yeah, I second that. Do I think it would be investigated? No. No? No. Not at all? No, because, you know, they're trying... Right now... Because they, they care more about black lives than they care about freaking uh, other people's lives. That's why it's not no other movement that says... That's why it's not a movement that says white lives matter, Asian lives matter. It's not no movement that say that. It's no big movement that say that. Why? Because black, black this and black that and black this, black this and black that. Bro, we in the year 2022. I'm not giving my own skin color uh, sympathy. Uh, no. Until they hold each other accountable for the things that they do to each other, that's when I get on some sympathy. But from not... No, I'm not. I'm not. You know, it's not a good thing to be white. <laughs> in this day and age right now so exactly. do you guys think it would be That's as heavily sad. investigated if it said it's okay to be black or it's okay to be brown uh no not at all how come uh just because the effort to represent minorities more is so much more because of the white majority um i don't think it's as accepted to be fighting for your ethnic pride you know if you're white just because there's less of a need to do so yeah, I agree with her. I don't think so because I think... Uh... No, you don't. You don't even know what she just said. You don't even know what she just said. You just said, yeah. I agree with her. Don't even know what she just said. Um, I, I mean, I don't think that necessarily should be investigated as hate speech either, but I think specifically for other races, um, a lot of other races need uh, spaces and communities to lift them up and to kind of come together and uh, have that affirmation. Do you think it's still being yeah. investigated? It will be investigated all the way. Here? Yeah. I say it shouldn't. I mean, the Black Lives Matter was a movement and it's okay to be black, so then it's just the counter argument. And there's been history, there's been like Supreme Court cases where like white people have gone against the mainstream discrimination and it's okay to be whatever you are. I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. I mean, I think that if it, were, if it said it's okay to be any other color, it wouldn't be investigated. But if it's being investigated because it's white, then it should be investigated if it's any other color. Like, that's what I think. No, no, absolutely not. No, 100%. Like, so maybe that's a little bit of a... Um, I doubt it would be a double standard, but you're right. Like, if you posted it's okay to be white, people would be upset. If it's okay to be black, people are fine with it. But I think, I think that is fine. Like, it's... 
obviously black or brown individuals have been persecuted in this country for decades if not longer and so therefore to post something to say it's okay to be white is just like demonstrating that you really don't understand how much privilege you have but my whole thing is i understand what he's saying but my whole thing is bro when y'all go get over it when y'all go get over it man I, I, like seriously when are y'all gonna get over it it is nothing to it's nothing to keep going back to this time and keep going back to that time. It's just when are y'all gonna get over? You can't keep dwelling on the past that you did not live. How can you dwell on something that you never lived in? You feel me? You going off what you seen in the books, you going off what you seen in this, you going off what you seen in that, and it goes all back to uh the Bible. Y'all don't wanna believe in the Bible, but y'all will believe in the social studies. I mean well, not social studies, but a history book. Y'all believe in the history book, but y'all don't realize that the history book is man made too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all say, oh, well, I can't see Jesus. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, guess what? They didn't have cameras and nothing back, nothing like that back then. Not from my understanding, not from my knowledge. They didn't have cameras and nothing. So, to, therefore, you can't even see. You truly don't even know who was. Uh, you can't see the people who was being whipped. You feel me? It's just pictures drawn out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. These, I don't feel like these, these how these people truly look. We don't know how Jesus looked. Nobody does. I don't know how God looks. But we we pitched them out to be the put to be these people. The people that they're truly not. You feel me? <sighs> Man, this this video, bro. In this country. If this said it's okay to be black or it's okay to be brown, do you think it would be investigated as hate speech? No, not at all. I agree. How come? Because that's where the pendulum is swinging right now. They're overcompensating. We're over. <laughs> Buddy in the back tearing that food up, boy. <laughs> you know the food good when you eating it with no hands, boy. He ain't out. Tearing that food up, man. Compensating. Yeah, agreed. Would it be investigated? I want to know what the reason is being investigated. But if everyone recognizes it's okay to be yourself, then there's no problem with that. If everyone recognizes that, then it's no problem. Do you guys think it's okay to be white? Of course. It's okay to be black, too. <laughs> oh, I think it's definitely okay to be white. Um, I just don't know about the organization and, like, the gathering of groups to, like, preach. Okay, not in a white superiority, but just, like... The Black Lives Matter. Come together because on a purely racial basis, it's just like. Just say BLM. Just say it. You want to say it, woman. Just say BLM. Unnecessary, regardless of race, but just like less accepted for white people because it's the majority. Do you think it's okay to be white? I do. I do think it's okay to be white. We should all be pr proud of our heritage. It's exactly. perfect to be white. It's perfect to be anything. Yeah, it's definitely okay. You just don't gotta post signs everywhere for it. Yes. 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 Definitely. Is it okay to be white? I mean, sure. Like, do you think? Don't be. Don't be like mean to people, or don't like use like your privilege to like do more than you should. But what what privilege are you talking about, bro? I'm I'm confused. What privilege are you talking about? Like, it's like yeah, it's it's fine to be white, but just don't be a bad person. Like, yes. <laughs> I really don't feel comfortable to be white, but I think it's okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, we talked to a multitude of people here at UT Austin, and I think- All right, man. So, finna go ahead and get off the video. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are on this situation. Me, personally, uh, I feel like it's okay to be white. I feel like it's okay to be any race. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to say, oh, I don't feel comfortable being this. I don't feel comfortable being that. Be comfortable with who you uh, who you was born as. Be comfortable with what, what, what skin you are in. You feel me? Just be comfortable within you. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get off this video, man. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.